All right. Woo! All right. Starting from the very fun. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Y'all know that we love our dogs almost as much as we love our kids. And we just built a doggy farmhouse bed. Dogs gotta sleep and a dog's gotta eat. So we're gonna build a doggy farmhouse table. But not just any farmhouse table. This one's gonna hold dog bowls. Woof. <laughs> that was rough. <laughs> Here is everything you need to build this farmhouse dog bowl stand. One laminated pine project panel, two one by twos, a one by four, some hardware, dog bowls, a drill, a jigsaw, and a nailer, and last but not least, and most importantly, a Cool Whip lid. Now, any Cool Whip lid will do. However, you can also use something that will make a six inch circle. That's exactly what the size of this is, so we'll leave it up to you on that one. So the first thing we're doing, guys, is we are taking this laminated pine project panel. We get questions about these all the time. They are at the hardware store. They come in different sizes. They're laminated pine boards that make a bigger board. All right, first thing we're gonna do is mark for the holes that we're gonna cut out for the dog bowls. Now, some people might say, why don't you just trace around the dog bowl? You can't do that because it has a lip that we need to hold the dog bowl in there if we cut it the size of the top of the dog bowl, it's gonna fall through. And that is typically what we would do, so I'm glad she's a step ahead right now. So we need to make holes for the bowls on this part, and the easiest way to do that is to find center on both sides, and then we're gonna draw a circle around this lid, which is the exact measurement we need. Um, but don't forget, you can always make your own circle or find a different kind of bowl at your house for this part. And where, Ash, did you find these great dog bowls? I actually love the size of them. I found them on walmart.com, and I will link to those also. I think you could go up one more size and be able to fit it on the panel, but I'm not positive on that. Easily modified. Right. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to drill a hole large enough to fit our saw blade into, and we're, the easiest way to do it is to pick a side inside of that circle and start there. Great job, Ash. Oh, you know. Nicely done. This would be a great time to test this and make sure that we don't need to go any larger or smaller. We have our panel cut now. All right, so we've got our top done. We'll set that aside for now. Next is time to assemble the apron. So y'all may notice as we go along that this table was actually designed after the table that we built for Rachel. That's one of our videos. We, we could link to it below so you can find it. And that way you can see where Ashley got the vision for this dog bowl. So to attach the frame, we're gonna put the two short pieces of the apron on the ends and the long pieces are gonna go between it. And we're gonna use wood glue and one and a quarter inch brad nails. This is kind of fun though. I think I think if you have kids that like to build, this would be a fun Oh, it'd like be to fun do to do kids, together. Like That's in the summer. Right. What do they call those boredom busters or something in the summertime for kids? That'll work. <laughs> if they don't, they should. Next, we are going to assemble the runner that goes across the bottom of the table. And we're gonna do that by attaching these two pieces together. And we're gonna use our nailer. And I did this because the Rachel table that we've designed, it's got thick runners, and I thought that this would make it look more like the original. All right, now we're taking this long piece and we're going to attach it to the top of the sandwich pieces on the end with wood glue and nails. It should be flush on the ends. Okay, now let's flip this over and add the other piece. And this is shorter, so it'll fit right here in between these two spaces. We'll just attach it using wood glue and nails. It's like a little baby runner. So this might even be a cute American Girl doll farmhouse table. Uh, that's happening. That is happening. That's a good summer project for That is boredom buster. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a thing, shanty boredom busters. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put... <laughs> So we're gonna set the apron aside, we're gonna set the runner aside, and now we're going to attach the legs to the apron. So I'm gonna add some wood glue right there where Ashley Mark, and we'll line it up in place. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the other four legs. So if you have a larger dog, a taller dog, you can definitely make your legs longer on this part to sit up higher because every dog needs good digestion, guys. All right, Cute. we've got apron done, legs now attached to the apron, and we are adding our runners. Yep. So let's bring that runner back over, and we're going to attach it to our legs now, and it's gonna line up an inch and a half from the base of each leg, and it's also gonna be centered. 
then we're just attaching it here with wood glue and nails. All right, final nail. Pull her up. Oh my How God. How cute. So cute. All right, final step is going to be attaching the top to the apron and the whole table base. We're running a line of wood glue across the top of the whole frame. And then we're gonna lay that laminated pine top right on top. It's gonna have three quarters of an inch overhang on all sides. To attach it, we're just using one and a quarter inch nails and wood glue. Okay, all right, and now the fun part. That is pretty doggone cute, guys. I think everybody's gonna lap this thing up. So with just a few tools and in under an hour, we have built the cutest farmhouse dog bowl stand. And now our doggies can eat in shanty style. That's right, and their digestive tracts will be happy too. Which is really the most important part of all. Y'all be sure to subscribe. You don't wanna miss another one of our videos, including all of this cute doggone stuff. Hold on. After In we paint style? it. Oh, yeah, we need to do all that again. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Wait. 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 Yes. So the first thing we're gonna do is attach. The I'm not one there. Hold on. Sorry. I need a hammer. Hold on. <laughs> all right. So what we're doing here? There is a serious helicopter going on right now. Ew. I think they found us. Always, always mm -hmm. Like the legs. You know, we normally wouldn't do an apron like this, mm -hmm. but... Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I'm just I'll just listening. shut up now. I was listening. <laughs> I actually was listening. I was like waiting for what you were saying. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Really? Are you serious? Can't you get I think we should fill it with like croutons and be like... <laughs> <laughs> Doggone it, we're done. Now, we gotta be done. My dogs are barking. <laughs> that means your feet are hurting, right? <laughs> 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 yeah.